beautiful uh, morning here. We're on our way out to, to Glen Ray. You can see it's nice and a bit chilly, a bit of fog in the air. Uh, we had a phone call the other day from a young couple who are uh, looking at setting up a, a coffee trailer. So we want to uh, get out there and find out more about it. Say good day, eh? Hello, puppy. Yeah, I'm right. Hey, how you going? Yeah, good, nice thanks. Find yeah. the place, all right? Yeah, mate. Yeah, for sure. A bit, uh, a little bit foggy this morning. Yeah, no, it's beautiful morning out. Yeah. Not too cool. No, think about. Mm. Oh, no. Take your hands off. Hey, Nelly. Hey, how are you? Yeah. And this is it all dusty? Are you dusty? How you going? Crazy. You good? Hello. Oh, good morning. Yeah. Good morning. This is a really nice, you know, place you got out here in the in the bush. Okay. Yeah, we we stumbled on it sort of by accident. We were looking sort of on the coastal area, like Arawara and stuff, until we realised we didn't have the half a million dollars to spend. So um, we love the hills, and we just sort of came out here. Flashy company. Yeah. <laughs> found the block of land while we were sort of down here, and um, with a fresh baby. <laughs> yeah, and we, yeah. We came and looked at it, and put in an offer the next day. So like a coffee trailer, what you're looking at setting up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah. We, we went down the line of sort of buying a vintage van and doing it up and I, I looked at a few and then rather than run into the hassle of rewiring, faulty brakes, rust, everything like that. And the fit out, to get the fit out to meet council standards would yeah, mean okay. you'd have to gut the whole Thing. Yeah, a lot of work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, sure. So I, I did a bit of research and looked around and I found a company called Spitfire Caravans down in Victoria. Yep. And um, they're doing a full reproduction vintage caravan for us. Yeah, yeah sweet. Yeah, it looks really snazzy. Okay. So, let's uh, maybe get inside and we'll see more about it. Eh? Come on Sounds in. good. Yeah. So exciting times, uh, guys! You, you, you know, you've got a bit of a, a caravan on the way, and, yeah. and a bit of a concept. So tell us a little bit more about what you know, where you're at, and, and what your plan is. I'd love to hear it. Okay. Um, well, basically, we were going through council to build a house, okay. and it was taking a long time. And I came to the conclusion that we were never going to build; we're going to be stuck in a shed forever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. And so I thought, why not spend our life savings on? A, doing a coffee caravan just yeah. like oh we oh nadia had always had the dream of having our own cafe yep. coffee yeah. shop and um we sort of looked down the avenues of 
you know, your rental payments and all your overheads and then, you know, you get... And then the commitment of, like, you have to be there every day, these hours, you need staff. Yeah. Yep. Like, it's really hard to kind of independently set up a business as just us sure. in the um, shop space, so that's yep. why we've gone for the caravan. Yeah. So have you guys worked around the coffee at all or the cafes? A little. A little, yeah. yeah. No, nah, look, drop lots of drinking. That's about it. Yeah. Yep. So it's a good start. If you drink it, you know, yeah, there's a passion there, so that's that's yeah. a good start. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Um, and so you've got a you've got a caravan on the way. You, you committed to the project. Yeah. yeah we're in. Yep. We're, yeah. The, the the chassis built at this stage, so it's a it's a sixteen week build. Yep. And um, yeah, so the next step is the basically try and sort out a layout of the van to what our needs are. Yep. Yeah. Um, what's the business name? What, what, what are you calling guys? Uh, Hillside Supply Car. Okay. And so, that came from? Well, we live on the side of a hill. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We'd always tossed around the idea of being something supply. Like when we were up in Brisbane, we were like, our dream coffee shop will be something, something supply. Yeah, we, we yeah. thought it leaves the options open. Like, we're obviously like, not just going to do coffee. Um, we're going to do... Uh, vegan sweets and toasted, toasted sandwiches as well yeah. and um, and you know it leaves options open for sort of anything rather than just restricting your market I guess. <laughs> so what are you looking at setting up guys? Um, basically side of the road during the week and if we can we're hoping to break into like the wedding sort of scene and yep. that's yep. that's why we've sort of spent the money and gone for quite a nice looking van. Yep. And we're planning on getting our RSAs as well, so that's another avenue that we want to go down. Yeah, so function um, catering. Um, yeah. yeah. Cool, you know, old sort of style yeah. in yeah. the car. We're Just not, flexibility. Not necessarily looking to be like a food truck sort of style. We don't want to be at every event, every market, every, you know, that's yep. not what we're chasing. It would rather be, you know, here, there, and be word of mouth, not seen. So, yeah. yeah. Cool. And you're talking about you love food and, um, and vegan is a bit of a concept there. So yeah. what is your, what's your passion about food? What, what do you want to serve? Just comfort food. We have progressed from being complete meat eaters to vegans. That's just our own personal journey. Yep. Um, but we have always fed people. I think that's why everyone was so sad when we left Brisbane is because we would always have 20, 30 people in the house eating every yep. Weekend at least. Um, so yeah, I guess we just need to follow on feeding people. Yeah. That's what we're good at. Okay, so more like raw treats and um, yeah, you know, low protein style healthy food. Yeah, so yeah. sort of like your bliss balls and your, your slices and some, some things that we make. And, um, and then yeah, so like toasted sandwiches, but like really nice, not your run of the mill, just cheese and ham toasty. It'll yeah. be on good bread, not. Not Helga's white, yep. uh, and um, yeah, just good be, comfort food. Yeah, good food that we that we would want to buy. And, and for like coffee, what, what's your thoughts in coffee? Um, we are really into brands that are fair trade and ethical, so we don't definitely look for a label that can promote that or have a hint to that. Or inside, and be working towards that. Sure. Um, is something for us, but as far as coffee goes, um, what, we... what's your favourite coffee? What do you drink? Oh. Um, what, what, <laughs> Who type knows? Yeah. So what type of coffee? So what type of coffee? Something you drink? quite um, soft. Just a flat white. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yep. On dairy. On uh, uh, mac milk. Yeah. Mac milk. Yeah. Mac yeah. milk with one sugar. Yeah. That's me. Thank you. I'm a soy boy girl. A soy boy girl. Yeah. Happy happy soy boy. Yeah. Happy happy soy boy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, so the alternative milk style, um, you know, healthy, really nice, awesome sort of foods. Yeah. 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 So it sounds like you've got a bit of a, a great concept and, and a bit of a business plan um, with, you know, alternative milks and, and, and vegan and so on. Um, there's a lot of things we'd love to give you an insight into in the industry um, because you can have your, your concept of who you are and what you want to do. And then you've got to look at who the customers are that's, that's going to pay the bills. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I'd love to hear a bit more about that and, and uh, give you some advice. That'd Great. be really good because, yeah. like I said, we're, we're very new to the industry. As in, we 
never even been part of it and you've been doing it for a while so yeah and and look with the trailer there's, there's a lot of things to think about i know you've got the shell sorted uh, we're gonna look at um, what sort of machines can go in uh you know coffee grinder and the coffee machine um refrigeration how you power it up yeah uh, and layout and, and workflow in that band as well yeah. so they're all key things you don't want to get wrong because uh, you, as you get busy it's going to be very challenging to work in that space yeah, yeah. so um yeah shoot us up as much info as you can yeah, um, yeah. and we'd love to have you out at the factory um, yeah. you taste our coffee and, and show you more about what we can we can offer you guys yeah All that'd right. be great sounds good yeah How's that dessert tasting, Luke? This is breakfast, it's not dessert, mate. <laughs> it's amazing. It's all food that's good for you, it's mm -hmm. healthy. So what's in those ones, Nadia? Um, so we've got some... The first one's like a peanut caramel and chocolate slice. Um, so you've got lots of peanuts and coconut oil. And peanut butter. Um, I use all ingredients that don't have additives or preservatives. Um, I like fruit that's as natural as possible while still tasting like it's really bad for you. Um, and you've got a nice little pretzel topping with some nice and salty. Um, and then the other one is like a raspberry shortcake. You've got lots of coconut in there, so it's kind of like eating a bit of a sponge cake. Yeah, nice. Mm. It's coconutty. It's exceptional. Thank you. It really is. Oh, Chris, really great to meet you, mate. You too, mate. Thanks, Thanks for coming Thanks out. Thanks for the awesome sweets. They're, just, they're all bang on. Anytime. And, uh, Dusty, great to see you too. Hey. And um, yeah, look forward to your sending through the info. Beautiful. We'll uh, lock in a time for next week and we'll, we'll yeah. go from there. Sounds, Sounds good. Great. Lovely. Come down and see what you're about. Awesome. Great. We'll taste some coffee as well. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. If you're starting up a new cafe or a coffee trailer and you've got some questions, make sure you leave us a comment below. We'd love to hear about it. We're excited for Chris and Nadia and their plans and hopefully we can work with them to achieve their goals. <laughs>